Ask G, day seven, a week in isolation. Before I go into today's uh, session, I just want to go back to one of the sessions we've covered this week to do with uh, swinging a couple of clubs together. And I showed an exercise where we held two clubs and it was a good stretch exercise because the additional weight encouraged a slow backswing and a momentous through swing. Uh, one or two of the ladies at Ombudsley Golf Club have mentioned on their Facebook page that that was a little bit too heavy and maybe a little bit too cumbersome for them. I'm just showing you here, all I've used is a piece of uh, tape and uh, a tin of boot polish and I've taped it to the golf club and that additional weight in itself is sufficient to give you that exercise. So maybe if you can find something, please be careful, make sure that you do tape it securely because obviously you are going to swing it and be quite aggressive with it hopefully um, so there's a good tip if you can't or don't want to or it's a little bit too tricky for you to swing two clubs together so moving on to today um, so today's session is called own your swing and hone your swing one of the things that I think is uh, far too overemphasized uh, both perhaps in let's say uh, magazine coaching uh, some of the things that are sold out there is the importance um, and the stigma attached to a good golf swing. Well, what constitutes a good golf swing? Quite simply, a good golf swing for me is one that puts my ball exactly where I want it to go. And I'm not really uh, too fussed about what it looks like. Uh, interestingly, if you go into stats right now, Jim Furyk, who's arguably got one of the worst swings on tour, uh, hits more or the most greens in regulation. If that doesn't send a message out to all those that are trying to swing it exactly like Tiger or exactly like Rory or exactly like Adam Scott, probably the person who's renowned as having the best swing, then I don't know what really will um, take and put the message home. How you come through the impact area is most important. Can you produce a method that is consistent each time you come in to strike the golf ball? That's what Jim Furyk does, that's why he hits more greens in regulation than most other players on the tour, regardless of the movement that he makes. Yes, of course we want to make a nice, powerful swing in particular, but if you've got a powerful swing of your own, that's absolutely fine. We talk about setup. And then we talk about swing in golf. Setup is everything you do before you swing the club. It includes things like aiming the club and holding the club. We've spoken about uh, those two factors this week. Positioning the ball in your stance and squaring yourself up to the target. And we work hard on getting our body into a good athletic posture so that we can make a powerful movement when we swing the club. I always liken the setup uh, to ABC in capital letters. If you wrote your alphabet and I wrote my alphabet in capital letters, they look very similar. And those things need to be similar because those are things that are proven to make you a more consistent player. When you make your golf swing, I liken that to your style of handwriting. It's yours. You own it. And what's really important is that it's consistent. So when people get bogged down with where the club is at the top of the backswing and where your hand should be, Dustin Johnson, one of the best players on the tour, gets his club into what would be perceived to be the wrong position. Can you imagine going up to Dustin Johnson and saying to him, actually, you really ought to get it into this position? So I like to talk about owning your swing and having an identity. It's one of the things that when I'm coaching, I'm very specific about is working on what you've got and making that better. When you swing the golf club, we're looking for that three second finish. We worked on that this week. And we're looking to make sure that our impact area repeats itself time after time. And once we can do that and we start to own the swing, that's when we want to go and hone it. So that's when you go and do your exercises on the practice ground and you keep working on repetition of the same thing, but it's got to be yours. Practice doesn't make perfect, it makes permanent. If you keep doing it wrong, and practice that you'll get better at doing it wrong try and work on your swing your technique your balance your control and the exercises that we've covered this week will turn you into a more consistent player if you want to be a better greens in regulation player own your swing first and hone your swing second 
big lesson today uh, we move on to week two look forward to seeing you tomorrow thank you